What up everyone? You already know the deal. Josh here, I'm back with a crazy adventure. I'm heading to the Paris Catacombs. It's been on my bucket list for over three years now. We've done not our dreamland, we've done Suicide Forest. We've done so much, Chernobyl, and the list just keeps going. Now this was a huge one on my bucket list and we're doing it. We're heading into the Paris Catacombs. It's like we're in an apocalypse. It's actually kind of scary. You don't know who's gonna be down here. What? That's an old train station. And we're going under it. This is gonna be an adventure I'll never forget. So if you all have ever seen As Above, So Below, I think that's what it's called. It's that horror movie about the Paris Catacombs. The same way they got in is the same way we're going in from the movie. <laughs> it's so intense. But what's really cool is that there's a culture about this too. In a way, it's like a culture, it's a passion. There's a group and they call themselves cataphils. There are people here all, that live in Paris and you know, close to Paris who come here religiously. Like they, they love it so much. They, want, they sleep down here, they hang out as a group and they're all over and it's cool. I mean, some of them will just come here alone. Also, from what I've been told, it's like when they're all down there, everyone's friendly and they all see themselves as equal down there. No judging, no nothing, and I think that's awesome. Well, underneath these grounds that we're walking on holds over six million bodies, bones, everything. They're all down there. And it all started back in 1738. Paris made tunnels, mining tunnels. Eventually, the cemeteries got so overflown, they had no place to put the bodies, so they put them inside reinforced tunnels. They just put them all down here. And yeah, it's weird how if you think about it, Paris is just sitting on tunnels of people and it's just weird if you think about it how it's weird if you think about how Paris is just sitting on underground tunnels and there's six million dead people underneath the Caterpillar people when they see junk and trash inside their tunnels they'll take it bring it outside and throw it right here so it's cool that you know they care about it so much that they actually pick up trash and bring it out I I don't know what to expect I'm a little claustrophobic Oh, okay, okay. Right. <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> oh my God. I live for this stuff. So we don't exactly know where we're going, but we're going to all the hot spots. Like I know there's a small castle here that people made and I know there's a couple other stuff I wanna see. I've just been told that these words on the walls that are carved in are actually the street names above us right now. Ah, oh, these are, these are, guys, these, oh, are from, wow. these are from pickaxe strokes hitting the rock. Very cool. That is cool. That is, yeah, that's sick. So this hallway that we're walking right now is called the driveway. It's pretty much the main section, almost like Main Street. It can get you to where you have to go. It's an old, this is an old generator for electricity. That's cool. Well, yeah, it's a manhole cover. I think it leads right to the road. Whoa. <sighs> yeah. As you can see, the water's building up now. <laughs> it doesn't feel uncomfortable though. I'm happy about that. The water's really clean, so that's good. There's some big rocks under here with a lot of holes, for example. So I might step on a hole that's just gonna bring my whole leg down, so I gotta watch out. So underneath here, there's even more tunnels, another layer of this but it's overflown so you can't go in. But so I don't know if maybe people have scuba dived in there, but I don't know. Oh my God, it just went way deep. Yeah, yeah, it's getting, it's getting deeper. The water's getting really deep. Think about this. We are walking under people's houses, their backyards. Like people are probably sleeping above us right now. We've just found a bullet here. That's crazy. What you guys have? We found a handgun bullet. No. This may be crazy, but we're gonna be under here for the next four hours. So just to show you how much I love like, urban exploring, I haven't even seen the Eiffel Tower yet. I just got to Paris, and the first thing I do is come straight here. I don't even know what the Eiffel Tower looks like yet. Yeah, the water's past my knees now. The water's about to hit my waist now. I have a couple things in my pocket, but my phone is waterproof. I should be okay. Okay. We're actually coming up to other people here. Probably cataphils. You can smell their candles and stuff. We are at the castle. The castle room. This is the room I've been wanting to see for so long. Uh, it sounds 
Oh, bonsoir. Salut. 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 This is my first time in Paris ever. I didn't even see the Eiffel Tower yet. I never even seen the tower. I just came straight here. <laughs> yeah, for real. Look at this. Their castle. Is a castle down here? <laughs> he built and this. a dragon. I want to know the story dragon. behind this thing. This is so cool down here. They got penguins up there. <laughs> I love the particles. Check out this guy. <laughs> Check out that. <laughs> we put some candles on the little chandelier here. So epic. Oh, my camera's fogging up again. Oh, the garden. They made a little garden down here. And there is a way up right here so you can see. This is... That is so cool. Oh, that's wild. Just randomly, they just threw a garden down here. I love it. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to give you guys an example of how much this is a maze. We can go this way, this way, this way, or this way. I mean, there's so much ways to go, you wouldn't know where to go. This is one of the coolest things ever to me. Like, I'm so glad I came here with this crew, man, Lou and everyone. Shout out to the exploring crew, though. I miss you guys. I'll see you guys soon, eventually. We're about to head into the room called La Plage. It's a famous room here. This is a very big room, and we can get lost in here, apparently. Um, what the hell? That is so cool. Whoa. Dude, this is like their god. We must ha we must hail him. It's like a minus one. Okay. I can't believe how much graffiti there is. Dude, there's just so much freaking ways. We can't get lost. Look at this. My God. Hey. So, look at that. Look at this. The graffiti is so good. No, you guys are kidding. You mean there's a secret room and it's in that hole? What? I'm gonna leave my bag. How do you feel about this? Oh my gosh, I yeah, my no. shoulders don't need to sit through this thing. I, I have no, I don't know what's on the other side of this. <laughs> this is why I travel. All right, my turn. <laughs> yes, sorry. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is the secret room. Whoa. I'm coming. I want to see the secret room. Ah. Uh. Oh. What? Woo. Okay, this is the best. Oh, I heard. Yeah, back in. What? Underground secret movie theater. Yeah, the, uh, the movie theater was here. And they said in 2004, cops came in here and they found the room. Really? Yeah, they, they, they were talking about this. Yeah, it looks like they've like, rigged up electricity and everything up there. Look. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is by, electricity, yes. yeah, by the way, guys, they had electricity in, in here and everything. I have to crawl through, everyone. We're going to a new place. Apparently it was an old brewery room. But there might be people in there. They might be making something. I'm not sure if I can film it. Might be good not to keep their secret secrets. I respect you guys. My bag is hitting. Wow. 
Now you can hear them. You can film the film. He's building a... Hey man. So wait, you're, he's building something? Yes. This is so sick. What is he building? Um, he's finished to building the, this place. Oh, he, oh, he built this the, room? Um, I think, uh, or a seating, a seat. Seating. Oh, wow. That's awesome. He made this. Everywhere you go, there's just somewhere. It's like, oh, I love this graffiti. Oh, what? I thought it was like a secret passage. Dude, what? Oh my God. You can totally get lost here, guys. I know, dude, I know. Can you fit through that? Oh my god. This is so massive. I just can't believe it. So this way and this way leads you to the official catacombs of Paris. The ones that you pay for and, you know, you can see all the good stuff, but... You know, you guys already know I ain't about that life. I hate tours. <laughs> That means we're getting closer to like bones and stuff. Definitely respect the dead, of course. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna get a photo of that. These metal hooks coming out the wall is meant for when the miners were working. They would put their tools and their jackets and stuff here. Oh, yeah, cemetery. We're getting there. It's a cemetery right on the wall now. It's the first sign of a... Uh, what? A bone. Right. It's in the middle of the park. Just walking, you're seeing human remains. There's many more down here. Whoa, and again. Oh my god, there's bones. Behind this little hole is tons of bones. Let's do it. There? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is scary. Oh. Dude, there is someone's arm bone right here. What? I'm surprised I'm not thinking about being claustrophobic right now. Literally. I mean, look what I'm in. There is bones everywhere here, man. Look at this. Are we coming back out of there? Yeah, I think one at a time should go in because we'll get squished. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. It's just bones, bro. Yeah. Like decaying human remains everywhere. I just can't believe this. Just piles and piles of human bones. Oh my god. It's kind of creepy, bro. It's definitely creepy, but it's, at the same time, it's so interesting. This looks like a part of like a spinal. This is like a part of the pelvic bone, like a... There are so many bones now, I can't walk the path without stepping on someone. Or multiple people in just one walk. It's unbelievable. Oh, my God. 
This is the craziest experience of my life. Yeah. See, I'm glad that this is the craziest experience, man. Because you got to share that experience with Holy all of us. Lee. I know, man. No. Um, I mean, we're trying not to. We're definitely trying to avoid stepping on remains, but there's so many, like, you can't... So at the top bit of the skull. So it's like top of their brain, like their brain, their yeah. head. I feel like the skull is quite delicate, so this is all probably part of the same skull, do you know what I mean? Yeah. How deep did the bones go? <sighs> Dude, I'm t I'm literally, this is just piles of bones. But I gotta go through it and film up. <sighs> oh my god. God. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah? Oh, 100%. 100%. Back out this way. Louis, this is just a skyscraper of bones. What? A skyscraper of human remains. It's just bones stacked on bones. Like, you would only see this in a movie. Oh, hang on. You got, oh. I can't believe this. I mean, I am laying on bones to get this shot. And this, like, every, I mean, this is normal, everyone's do, everyone does it, no disrespect or anything, it's just, oh my god. And look where it is, look at the other side. I might put my head a little bit, hang on. That's what you gotta crawl in to see that shot. Go, watch. Yeah. You guys are gonna flip. Headlamps work best. Guys, this is the most intact skull that we've seen. This is crazy. This is like half a skull. All right, everyone, you've seen as much as I did. I literally, I don't have much time. I might even miss my flight home just to see this, but it was worth it, but it sucks if I miss my flight home. I've already extended the days just to come here. Um, I have to do a six hour drive. We have to, we can't miss the ferry to get back to London. I hope we can get back. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was on my bucket list for so long. And now that I got the idea of catacombs and, and like if I get a map or something or find more people that want to chill and, and work together and film, it's going to happen then. Uh, maybe in the summertime I'll come back. I don't know. But I'm exploring with Josh. Subscribe to, uh, subscribe to Louis. Subscribe to Sia. Check them out. They're releasing their video too. Hope you guys enjoyed. There's always crazy abandoned places. There's always crazy vlogs. There's always crazy cool experience adventures coming your way. Just subscribe. Oh.